Hey-o. Oh, it's Ben Snaker here with another figure review. This time we have the legendary comic book heroes, Monkey Man series, Judge Death. Um, I actually do know a little bit about this guy. Um, my brother, when I was a kid, used to collect the uh, Judge Dread comics, and I read a couple of them, so I saw a few of him. That's about all my personal knowledge is. But as per usual, I've got a uh, little buy here from uh, MarvelLegends.net, which I will leave in the link below. A twisted creature from another dimension, Judge Death reasoned that since all crimes were committed by the living, life itself was unlawful and has set out to destroy all existence. I will leave you guys to read the rest if you would like. Um, that's his bio. Uh, that's a pretty cool character. Uh, very cool in the actual comics. And this figure is awesome. Now, I have this transparent uh, variant. I did have the original, um, but since, unfortunately, it has been customed into on its way to my Ultimate Toad, which I saw online once, and I'm hoping to get him finished soon because he's quite close to being done. But yeah, he's a great, great, uh, great figure. Probably one of the scrawniest male figures I have ever seen. But they've managed to keep all his articulation and he's just such, he's a really, one of my favourite figures, to be honest. Not a biggest fan of the character, but I love this body mould. I just think it's a great, great mould. I wish they could do more of it. In fact, when that um, Thunderbolts box set came out and they made the, um, is it Ghost? I think it's Ghost. They should have used this body mold. One, there's lots of transparent parts out there. And two, I just think it would have been better. Um, I know, Ghost isn't, Ghost isn't really that screwy, I guess. Just, I don't know, I just, I do like this body mold. The articulation on it is, I've got no gripes for it whatsoever. Just for warning, this, uh, the glue on this has uh, come undone from the, the packaging. So that will pop off probably for some point in the review. I'm going to try and show you the sculpt. I've never reviewed a transparent figure before, so bear with me. I don't know why I sounded like a sheep when I said bear just then. <laughs> okay, here we go. Stand him up straight. We'll do a size comparison while I've got him up straight. Grab the old tape measure reel. He stands six and a half inches tall. Um, and I will try and show you the detail, like I said, as best I can. He's got his really twisted smile underneath there um, and the whole whole figure is transparent this is not painted on in my opinion i think this is just slightly dyed um it might be painted on this like darker aspects because you can see his chest is quite dark and his arms and legs are completely transparent but he's got a very twisted smile under there um i can't remember what his face actually looks like underneath that i think his eyes are a bit screwed up Helmet's really nice. It's got like bone shoulder pad, which is different to Judge Dredd's one. Uh, I actually have Dredd here, taken off his belt, but you can get the thing. So you can see he's got this nice like solid, an eagle. He's got a bat, and then he's got like these nice solid pads. He's got those bone fingery things, and the boots, the knee pads rather. So that's uh, the kind of difference there. He's got a nice little badge there, which is. Uh, it's a rubber. It's a soft rubber piece. It says death on it. It's really great belt. And all the suit is all textured and that, so it just looks, it feels really, really cool. Um, and he's got his little kind of feet at the bottom. The detail on this guy is phenomenal for such a small figure. You can see his ribs practically there, such a tiny little figure. This would also make a great custom job for the uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 Psycho Uh I would probably more than likely use this if I was going to make them, but I was kind of going for Play Out Sky ones. I believe they're currently making a Psycho Manus, if I remember rightly. Can't remember. Um, but yeah, great, great figure. Now, let's go over the articulation. Oh, somehow I've got my lamp in there. I must have knocked it. Sorry, guys. Right, the articulation. Head is on a ball disc, so it can go down only that much to that much. Not a lot of movement there. It's blocked by the collar, unfortunately. Full 360 degree rotate. Well, I say full 360 degree. It's kind of hindered by the shoulder pad. You probably go from here to the other side. Uh, shoulders are on ball disc. This one can go up that far, but can only rotate because the bat is actually on the shoulder peg. So you can only rotate what allows that. You get full 360 degree around, but it is hindered. Bicep cut, 
very st stiff ratchet elbows. Uh, hand can go from there to there, full 360 degree round, and then fingers there to there. He has an individual, one individual finger, three together and then one separate. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my lamp now. I don't know why it keeps popping in. This arm, uh, it, this is actually attached to the chest. So this one can go up higher. Um, as you can see, the disc goes all the way around. So you can go all the way up to there. Rotation from there to there. Bicep and then the rest is the same. Again, single finger. So we can do the ET phone home. He has a really good ab crunch. Uh, which goes back really far. Just thought of another figure I can make this from. Uh, waist cut is fine. This belt is a soft rubber, so it doesn't get in the way. So full 360 degree around there, although it does look a bit weird. Uh, T-cut hips. That was something I wasn't sure it was going to happen. So I'm really happy they've done that. Let's point the camera down a bit. He has a... Just trying to straighten this guy out. Spartan of only that, unfortunately. Because the mould is a bit tight there. But it's a really good split kick. Fire rotation, up fire rotation, full 360 degree, double in the knee. Really nice bend. And then an ankle point from there to there. As you can see, upper toe right upper toe point from there to there. And I pivot from there to there. Really great, great. I do apologise. I'm losing, I'm not feeling too well. I'm coming down with flu, I think. So that's why I seem to be a bit slow with my words. So I do apologise. I just want to get a couple of views out of the way and then go to bed. I think. <laughs> um, yeah, I just I really love this figure. One of my favourites in the uh, in the series. Um, I would recommend picking this guy up if you see him cheap. Um, absolute grace, awesome figure. Now here's Judge Dredd. I've taken off Judge Dredd's belt. Um, because I thought I had a second one I was going to use his belt, but unfortunately I've already customised the second one, so this is all I've got left, so apologies about that. Um, but you can get the size comparison of them, and they do they would look absolutely awesome on your shelf together. Um, so there's them too. As I said in my previous video, um, I don't have the pit series, unfortunately. All of my pit series have been somewhat customised and chopped into pieces for various things, as I love to customise figures back in the day, and wasn't really worried about collecting them apart from my own. I regret this now, as I now want to collect them. <laughs> but anyway, if you would like to see the pit series, uh, my buddy Glenn Webb is currently doing them, um, so I will leave some links in the description below, and check out his site. He's a great customiser, great reviewer, um, all round. So check out his site and on that note i'm going to bid my adieus so thanks a lot for watching guys uh, please leave any comments below please subscribe please like and i will catch you guys later bye bye